Okay, so welcome back. So I think I figured out where we need to go, which is the center of Rast Yellow or whatever, but I kind of wanted to just take a quick peek, because we haven't been in the bio shop in a while. So, just want to take a quick peek if there's anything new in here. Oh! Eon, Starry Sky Vacuum Tube open. So there is! Aha! Where's this is the last one? Level 7 dive? Eh, maybe. Let's check it out. Hey, can you hear me? I thought it was an illusion all along, but I realized it's not. The light, it's real. Thank you, you helped me realize that. Okay. Hey, it's you. You finally come this far, haven't you? Have you? I can't see at all. <laughs> well, it's pitch black in here. Surely you can t even tell who I am. Oh. <clears throat> I thought it was Eon. <laughs> so clearly I can't tell. But, uh, oh wow, look at that. Like, depending on which option I choose, it actually moves her around. Alright, now let's go. Oh, you knew. How boring. That you would see right through this average girl. You're quite something, you know that? Um, I want to say something, but I'll hold. Now, I'm sure you're wondering why everything is black around you, yes? Well, that's because we're in the deepest level of the lighthouse keeper's mind. Of course, her heart itself is almost infinite. What I meant was, this is as deep as an outsider can come. At this depth, any type of emotion or past trauma, worldly desires are all mel uh, melted into a single world. And here you are, about to enter this world so close and intimate. But, how will you navigate through this darkness? You'll have to figure that bit out by yourself. I can't give you any advice. I'll be looking forward to what you do in this world. Whether my life is going to be really interesting or dull is up to you now. A big responsibility. <laughs> The Hymno Fort. Alright, let's do it. Dear, you came for me. It's really dark. That's because I hid all the bad things about me, and things I hate about myself in this world. You know, all the bad things and things that have hurt you, you want to hide them deep in your mind, right? That's what I've been doing until now. I guess that's why this world is completely blacked out now. How can we make it light? I don't know. But if I can fix those bad things I hate about myself, I think maybe this world will be a brighter place. You are correct. I don't know who that is. Nelico, you came all the way here? I always tell you, don't I? I can go wherever you do. But this is what it looks like inside friends' minds who hate each other. Pitch black, nothingness. Now look, oh, you really are a strange person, aren't you? Strange? <laughs> I'm a virus inside of you. Besides, this world is completely dark and a place you'll nev you've will you never been to before. But maybe some of your friends have already come here without your realization. Huh? That's possible. Yes, it is. They're, if they're worried about you. So, back on topic. What you said earlier about fixing the band fixing the bad you to make it bright in here. You're right. Still, I don't know what exactly I need to do. That you'll have to discover for yourself. But there's a little bit of good news. I've got a little surprise for you. Huh? What is it? Well, that is... Whoa, it became bright. This is a little present for me. A little support from someone trying to turn their life around positively. Thank you so much, Nelico. No, it's nothing worth thanking me for. My power is not that significant. I just made things a little brighter. But with this, you can actually see your surroundings when you walk around. Yes, thank you so much, Nelico. Thank you, Nelico. <laughs> I admit, Lighthouse Keeper, you've grown into quite the woman. When I was first administered, I had serious concerns about, well, you. Nelico. But you still have a ways to go. Huh? Take a look below. Your breasts could do with a little more maturing. <laughs> oh, Nelico. Um. Mm, I have to.
to agree. No, not you too. Don't make fun of me like that. I'm going to hate you. I've only known you since the lighthouse keeper has woken up, but you're someone who's hard to forget. Well, I hope you can keep on protecting her from now on too. Time to go into a world gleaming with possibilities and mysteries. Go and light the deepest parts of your heart. No, we didn't get the jump. Oh, we did get the jump. Okay. So, planes of pointlessness. Alrighty. It's so dark past this point. We can't go on. When I stand here, I feel so small. Like a little sprout in a vast and empty field. Something that might be buried at any second. Yes, I was waiting for myself like that. I was slow and clumsy. People would call me airheaded. I... I would watch Cannon and Nay excel at what they did while I sat on the sidelines. It was always like that since I was a child. I couldn't beat my little sister at anything. No one saw me. Then I shall always exist by your side. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's Cannon. Cannon, what are you doing here? I saw that you were trying to rid yourself of the darkness within using Gunometrics. But the darkness in one's heart can swallow and consume oneself. Because it is part of yourself, it's easy to sympathize with its way of thinking, affirming the dark side. Everything that I feel around me in this world, there are all the bad things inside of me. Are you certain about that? If I recall, you were quite strong in that regard. If you truly were as incompetent as you claim to be, then I probably wouldn't be here right now. Do you know why that is? I don't. That's because you've come into my mind and helped me mature. I didn't do anything really. In fact, I probably made matters worse. No, your free way of thinking, Ionisal, and your unwavering will look like treasures to me. By you coming into my mind, I've received a great treasure from you. That's why I've come here to return the favor. And light. Let there be light. Huh? Cannon? One of the lessons you taught me was to trust others and win together. If one person cannot succeed alone, they can rely on other friends around them to overcome it. Right now, I'm simply putting into practice what you've taught me. Cannon, thank you so much. You're not as incompetent as you might think. In fact, I find you're very valuable. Even in the relationship we have together, What's that? Huh? Oh, um, well, it's nothing really, so, um, don't mind what I was going to say. If you're going to say all that, you have to tell us the end, too. It'll bother me. I can't leave this place. No, it's really nothing, I assure you. I... I just can't forget about that time you stepped on me. Huh? Huh? No matter what I'm doing, I always remember what you told me about making choices. I might have done something really strange to you, Cannon. Cannon must be a masochist. That's not true. You managed to make people obey you every day. Anyway, Cannon, thank you very much. It's time for me to go find my lighthouse now. Yes, in order for the world to start shining with light once more. After all, you're the only one who can shine light on your own world. Yes, thank you very much. to the next one. It's probably just going to be all of her friends telling her she's great. At least that's what I'm assuming. It's completely dark. I feel an overwhelming sense of guilt. My heart. It hurts. I've done many things I wish I could take back, partly because of my ignorance, and partly without choice. All the lives that live on the Sorel right now are the victims from when I destroyed Rastiella. And some people change their lives around completely because of my presence here. That's... Are you talking about me? Nay? Yep. Nay. Yes, nay, you. Because I came to this world, nay, your life was turned upside down, chased out of your own body. And after that, you must have suffered with people trying to kill you. I did this to you. Mm, well, sometimes I feel that way too, but it's not your fault, Eon. It's not like you came here trying to kill me, and you suffered too. Come on now, don't get all mopey this deep in your soulscape. It might affect reality. Now cheer up for me, yeah? And let there be light. Nay, thank you so much. It goes both ways, you know. You really helped me out inside my own soulscape too. 
You know how I've always lived life right on the edge? I think I've become desensitized to it. So, I would go out of my way to seek danger, nay the gale and the song magic to destroy the Charles. I was always serious, but my heart was racing for more. If I succeed, it's glory, fail, and I die. If it was a game of death in which I've involved everyone, you're the one who made me realize how wrong I was. I have no intention of taking chances anymore. I think I'll be able to have a more relaxed lifestyle. I see, thank goodness. And the truth is, I um, actually have no luck with guys. Huh? Oh, I, I guess so, now that you mention it. I think I've been avoiding them in fear of getting too intimate with anyone. In other words, I was prepared to die at any second. I take the initiative and gamble with death. But I won't do that anymore, so maybe I might have just enough charm to find my guy. <laughs> yeah, I think that suits you so much better. You're so cute. What have you got to lose? Um, Eon, you know you're inside my body right now, right? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I don't need that body anymore. It's yours. Right now, I actually feel really at home inside this body. I mean, after all, I'm so much lighter. <laughs> That's definitely something you'd say. But, Eon, let me tell you one more thing. In the beginning, I despised you. You took everything away from me, and even now, it hurts. At the same time, I'm really glad I met you, and... It was all thanks to you that I put all that strife behind me. It really puts me at ease watching you like this. It feels like everything will work itself out. Um, am I supposed to be happy about that, or are you mocking me? <laughs> maybe a little bit of both? Oh, nay. Sorry, sorry, but really, you're the best friend I could ask for. The only person that doesn't get on my nerves just hanging out. That's right. Can I go stay over at your place sometime? Huh? I'm always alone, you know, so lately I've been a little lonely and I'd feel comfortable sleeping near you. Huh? No, no, that's so embarrassing. Huh? What are you talking about? That was my body at one point, unless you've forgotten. Huh? Huh? But... There's some crazy Yuri here. I, I don't think so. I'm fine with it, and I'm sure you would get a kick out of it, wouldn't you? But you won't see anything. Hey, nay. And setting aside the jokes... Are you sure you don't have to go soon? Your road's already lit up, it seems. Yeah, we need to light up the whole world. Nay, thank you. Don't thank me. We'll be together forever, and I'm sure I'll cause you more trouble in the future. <laughs> Good point. World Observatory. I feel like we've climbed up a lot, but I still can't see a thing. I wonder how much longer this road will go. What if there's a cliff at the end of this road and we just fall off? I can't go any further. I'm scared. <laughs> Although I guess I used to live like this, my mind full of these thoughts. When I was little, it was all about, can I get into a good school, or will I find a job? Since I came here though, it's been all about, when can I go home? And now... Hey, do you think there was a purpose for me being in this world? The only thing I've done since I came here is destroy a planet. It's dangerous to be there, Eon. Is this Casty? Nope, it's Renal. Renal? Don't move, wait right there. Whoa, I almost fell off. Thank goodness I caught you in time. I don't know how to thank you, Renal. You're quite welcome. The stars you can see from here are so pretty. And compared to that, your face looks like a rainy day. What happened? Renal, I just don't know what to do. I have no intention to return to my own world, but I'm also not confident enough to live in this one. Why is that? I wonder why it is. I'm worried the people of this world might not accept me. You worry too much, Eon, but you shouldn't because everyone will like you the way you are. You don't know that. Maybe I don't, but assuming people won't accept you is actually rather rude, don't you think? Really? This is something you've taught me, Eon. Huh? I was always afraid of you, Eon. I guess you could call me a principal... call me principal offender for bringing you here. I thought of you as my own daughter, but you were still very weak and perhaps you hated me. That's not true. Yes, but that's what I believed. And you're the one who undid that misunderstanding. Thanks to you, I was able to face the truth and continue living. That's why I want you to believe in them too, uh, Eon. In the people living on this world. 
Don't worry, your thoughts are always pure, and you've always tried so hard to protect this world. The people here will accept all of you, your feelings and everything. And even if that weren't the case, I promise I'll support you. You're not alone anymore, you know? Renal, thank you so much. I will believe in it, this world. And no matter what happens, always believe in yourself, okay? You have lots of wonderful memories hidden deep inside of you, you know? Yes. Well then, I n I'll be going. I need to reignite the flame in my world. Good luck, and I'll probably be able to do is... All I'll probably be able to do is keep this area lit. But I'll be cheering you on. But how far does this go? It looks like it is a dead end. There's a large shrine on top. I think it has the sight lines of the entire world. But first, you need to go there. I hope my light can go far enough. I understand. Thank you very much. Okay. Temple overlooking the world. I wonder who's going to be here. I wonder if it's going to be like the seven pillars or the seven people. I think this is it. We're really close, but it went dark again. What should we do? There's nowhere else we can go. Light a fire. Huh? But how? I'll try. You will. I think even more about Eon. Thank you so much. You make me so happy. Well, then, what do you think? I Do you think I can ask you to do that? Wow, we're here. It's so pretty. Uh, hey, over there. Do you see that inside the cloud of stars? What? There's a star! That isn't lit, the one with the vacuum in the middle of it. I'm sure that's it. If we light that one up, the world will be bright. But how do we get there? I see. There's no other way but to fly over there. But neither of us can fly. Then let's build it. Huh? You're going to build it? Something to fly with? But how? <clears throat> Who could this be? Maybe Cassie? Are you kidding me? What's all this weakness I hear? Nelico. Nelico? This is your world, and even you have a partner who confirms in you. There's nothing that can't, cannot be done. That's right. It is yours and Earthus's thoughts that will lead you to that star. You better not get cold feet after coming this far. I wouldn't forgive you. Cannon, nay. Eon, do your best. This is going to be the biggest challenge you have ever faced. By overcoming your own self and your own fears, you will be able to fill this world with light for the first time. Renal, thank you everyone. I'm going to do my best with Earthus. Hey, can you go to that star with me? Like you said, we might be able to weave something if we make it there. I probably can't do it alone, but together... Please, Earthus, I want you to give me your strength, the strength of your planet. Become one with me. Oh, hold up. Let's forge our oh, let's forge our tomorrow. A tomorrow just for the two of us. Oh, amazing. Did I overdo it? No, that's not it. Oh, this is quite amazing. A merge between this world and hers, huh? I've never seen anything like that before. This is the power of Eon's world? Now, Eon Asal, there's no time to waste. Yes, everyone. Thank you so much. I'm going to light this tower and carry all of your warm feelings with me. It's going to be okay. Let's go, Earthus. Okay. Hmm. So I gotta go to the Filament of Light. Oh, we can get a picture here, apparently. Maybe. Something very nostalgic just flew through my mind. There was a story about riding on a dragon that soars through the skies through the sea of stars. It was a picture book I read a long time ago. There was a lonely girl who longed for the stars in the sky, so she created filaments that lit up. Thanks to that, the girl's life, which was empty and lifeless, began to shine. One day, that girl had a dream about riding on the back of a dragon into the starry night sky. 
But when she arrived at where the night was, the light was supposed to be, there was nothing. It was just an illusion. The girl woke up, and when she did, the world went stale again. The filaments that she made were broken, and she returned to her normal dull life, just like me from a while ago. There's no light in this world, because it's different this time, because... Because you're by my side. I was really worried, you know, before I met you, and even after we met each other. Who's behind that screen, and how do they feel with me on the other side? I wonder if it's the same kind of life as me, or is it empty? These thoughts ran through my head every day, that was my life. But, you know, after spending so much time with you, going on an adventure, I think I've come to understand the real you, what lies behind the screen. And right now, we're here, together. You're in the deepest part of my heart, that's the truth. So there's nothing for you to worry about anymore, not a single thing. I've never seen what you look like, and I can't touch or hear you, but I can feel you now. I know it, I can believe you're right there, on the other side. The light was no illusion. Now let's light up the world together. I know we can do it. We'll shine a bright light onto this world. Here, Eon. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Ah, now there's lots of light now. Whoa, it's amazing. Earth, this, this is amazing. You did it, Eon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm... I'm... Alright, let's embrace her. Eek! <laughs> Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hug you. I was... just so happy. We need to go back to everyone else and thank them. Let's go, Earthus. Okay, and I think we'll just take a little break here. And next time we'll try to wrap up this, I guess it's the last uh, level of Genometrics for Eon. So until then, thanks for watching.